what we do as a SASA doctor. Uh, by the way, this meeting is being recorded. So if uh, you'd like to participate and uh, uh, ensure that you know this uh, meeting has been recorded and uh, will be uh, uh, on uh, live on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram. Uh, and uh, I mean YouTube, not Instagram. Uh, so uh, what we did, and we also have um, um, the telemedicine. Okay, good. So we uh, <clears throat> we would like everybody on this uh, webinar today to download the Sasa Doctor application, where you are able to consult a doctor using your mobile phone. We also have. Um, a USSD application that is coming out soon for those people who don't have smartphones uh, or um, both, uh, and we are both on Android and iOS, but we don't do anything over the web. So uh, you can also order medication directly from us without necessarily having visited our um, um, application where you upload the prescription use, uh, using the application and also the claim form then uh, we'll be able to confirm with the insurance and then deliver the medication to you. So we deliver medication for free if um, it is uh, above 1,500 um, uh, to anyone and anywhere in this country. That is all of Kenya. So without further ado, um, I'll hand over to Wanjiru Nyambura to introduce the guest speaker and uh, introduce the topic for today. And then we can proceed from there. Thank you very much. Wanjiru? Uh, hello, good afternoon, everyone. I don't know whether it's only on my side, but your voice was breaking off. Uh, let me check on that. So welcome to our webinar. My name is Anjio Nyambura. I'm the clinical lead at Sasha Doctor, and I'm going to introduce our speaker today. As you've seen, there, there are so many things happening around. Actually, uh, from my end, every day, Day, there is something happening, somebody murdered, somebody just weird things happening around. And we are and we are attributing that to maybe the mental mental health issues. Maybe there are things that are not, we are not addressing as a society. And we felt like it's a it's a as as sister doctor, we felt like we might this webinar might help uh, maybe create awareness and we can avoid these uh, murders mentally ill but for sure for sure they don't know or maybe they know they just assume and the fact that mental mental health is not so emphasized in Kenya like for example if you go to your HR and you tell them I'm having a diarrhea I'm having a cold I'd like to go to the hospital most of the time they are likely to give you a sequel but when you say you go and tell your HR uh, I'm stressed I need to see a counselor they'll always be like why? why? Why do you need to see a counselor? So there's a lot of um, stigma when it comes to mental health and we are coming to say like, it's okay not to be okay. So it's okay to speak out when you're not well mentally and when you need help to process your own emotions. So for example, I'm a GP, I'm a general practitioner and you find most of the patients, they try to pass through long ways to, to show, to express that they are not well mentally. For example, you might find people who come, we always call it in court, uh, Hapanapale syndrome. So <laughs> you come today, you're having a headache, tomorrow you're having backache, tomorrow you're having a cold. And as a general practitioner, that should always raise facts like, this person is trying to seek for attention. And uh, I, I don't want to water down the whole topic. So I would usher in our presenter today to give us more insights on the issue. Her name is uh, Catherine Wanjohi and uh, welcome. You can start now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Aljiru. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Thank you, actually you are right. When people are sick, they, you know, you just walk into a doctor, explain I'm not feeling well. 
and everyone is, uh, is there to tell you, call a quick recovery. But when it comes to mental health, it's like a taboo to even talk about it, uh, which makes, that, makes it complicated for those who are suffering to seek help. Uh, but let me say, I think it is the high time uh, we normalized. And okay, I, I would can't rather see say, you. Um, your video is off. Sorry? Kindly. Just a minute. Have your video on. Uh, people want to see who is talking. And raise your voice I'm a bit. It's, it's saying that. Uh, I'm trying to. It's saying like you kind of disabled. Make a co host or a host for her to. Hello. Okay, I mean, Hello? it is. I thought that. Yeah, that's better. You able to see me? Yes, yes. Now yes. you can proceed. Hello? All right. Uh, like I was saying in the list, in the recent, sorry, in the list, recent past, it has been brutal mandas, not just mandas, but uh, people mandarin because they love so much. And not just murders, but killing murders, murdering, murdering those who you love. You know, like we call it passion of crime. Talk of sweet love, to sour love, and to sour and bitter. You know, it's like a protector turning predator. And I would start with the self-awareness. It is good that we create self-awareness how do you know yourself? How do you react you know, to different situations? Are you aware yourself in such that it does not matter what people think or say about you? You believe in yourself. You are not easily irritated or agitated. You know your self-worth. Work on your self-esteem. Put value on yourself such that you do not rely on validation from outside of you. You will not feel a lesser being incomplete just because you have been rejected or someone you held in high esteem has walked out of your life. Like, uh, for example, if someone you love, they tell you now they want to add the relationship, ship, you are like, uh -huh. you know, your worth is gone. You feel worthless. You feel you cannot continue. But if you believe in yourself, no matter who walks out of your life, you are like, hey, Life continues, I feel the pain, yes, but I'll dust myself and go on. You are much, much more than just one human being rejecting you. So it is important to know who you are, how you carry your life, what is expected of your life, and that way you will be able to, to have a happy life. Okay, if a person you have and trust, seeing that you have a future with them, decide that they have had enough of the relationship one day. Decision they have made, your power lies on the response. How do I respond to this situation on the other hand? Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Just a minute. So like you are saying, if a person you love and trust, seeing that you have a future with them, they decide all of a sudden that they have had enough of the relationship for one reason that you don't know there isn't much that. It will be easy to feel the pain, dust yourself and move on after all that this person found you, you are complete even without this person and that is so you are fighting a lot of murders because you had you had tagged your word on a person which is not right. Believe in yourself, work in your, 
work on your self-esteem, believe who you are, believe that you are for those who tag their self on others, ask yourself, this person found me. You know, I was already a grown up going on with my life. And even if they leave, my life will still continue. Do not sacrifice so many other people who love you because of one person who betrayed you. No matter how betrayed you feel, give yourself time to think over your intended action. Talk to somebody. Do not act on impasse. The consequences are not worth it. Pain should live as better, but not bitter. Talk to someone when you are going through a painful experience. In case you don't have someone to talk to, also a counselor. In counseling, we practice professionalism and confidentiality is assured. We offer unconditional positive regard, meaning we do not judge, we do not criticize, we do not condemn. What that has happened to you would have happened to anyone else. Surely do not sell your soul for a plate of food by taking the bed. At the onset of a relationship, it is important to set boundaries. As much as possible, avoid an enmeshed relationship. A person in an enmeshed relationship feels their worth because they are validated by another person. Your self-concept is defined by others you end up losing your individuality. You lose your power to get your needs met. There is so much fear of rejection. You end up creating a narcissist on one side and a codependent on the other. So unhealthy, once again, increase your self-worth. Build on your self-esteem. No matter what others say or do, you have to stick with what you believe. It is not so much what they call you, but what you call yourself. Well, no one is able to roar your praise. I mean, no one is able to roar your praise. A relationship is true. There has to be a common goal. It is important to take time to understand your partner before you commit to a relationship. Know their temperament. How do they react to different situations, especially those that are not in their favor? How do they respond or react when upset? Are they those people who don't believe that it is quite in order to accept defeat? That you cannot respond without reacting? There's a difference between response and reaction. In reaction, you act. In response, you think over about the consequences of your reaction even before you take any action. A person who believes in winning all the time will go to any rent to prove themselves right. They have a victim mentality and go to any rent to seek revenge. Aga management is key in how well, you know, how well are you able to manage your anger? Do you believe you have to act all the time? You can walk, you know, you can walk out on a, or of an argument and still remain with your dignity on. Take time to self reflect Do not act on impasse. You know, in self-reflection, you, you are able to ask yourself, how could I have contributed? What is it that I did? What is it that I did not do? With such questions, you do not suffer from helplessness. Helpless leads to hopelessness. The moment you become hopeless, depression sets in. When you get depressed, you suffer psychologically and you think irrationally. And to make it worse, you even go ahead or not on those irrational thoughts. You, that is why even people are murdering because your thought pattern is distorted. It is not about reality. It's that it is about I am worthless and useless. I cannot live with this person. It is not right. It is not correct. If, if you are those people that are always always ranting, atajua mimi ni nani, hata chezea mwingine, that is a red right. That is anger not managed well because such a person believes they are always right. They are talking of how they teach so and so and lesson. If you are partner to such a person, you are not unique. Tunasemanga, webe ni ule ule. Kukimenyolewa, 
kupitia cha kwa maji pia it is time to reflect on where the relationship is heading take time to understand your partner even better understand the environment they were raised why there are many times we carry baggages from our past you are suffering from your childhood which you carry to your adult life it affects others where we say if you don't heal you even bleed to those who did not catch you so it is important to understand to understand and just in case there are differences you cannot resolve on your own, seek professional help from a counselor. Go for therapy together. Do not wait until the situation is out of hand. I mean, there is no shame in asking for help. Even for men, because for men, you know, you have an ego to protect, but there are times you have to put your ego aside. You arrive, you arrive your health is at stake. Okay? And then it is good to express your emotions in a healthy manner, in an environment where you feel safe. Do not allow yourself to sink deeper into the pit by killing somebody. It is just not worth it. Your life is much, much more worth than that. Okay? Yeah. And we normally say life is much, much more than one depressive thing. Mm -hmm. That are working right. Don't con concentrate on this one that is not, that is negative. Do not magnify one negative event. Look at there's so many other things in your life that are working right and magnify them. Mm -hmm. Then there are so many people who love you for who you are with no string, uh, strings attached. Attach, surround yourself with such people. Yeah. Rein on them if you need to. Until the, the storm is over. No situation is permanent. We all go through stuff. No life is perfect. No life is perfect. No one is perfect. OK? So like you are saying, no, no, no life is perfect. Love your life the way it is. Improve on your life where you need to, to, to improve. Because at the, end, at the end of the day, you have a right to live. OK? Yes, COVID has implications, and I think it's the high time that if it's for families, let us come together, we reason together, because there is so much more to life. We need to live this life. We need that when the storm is over, it will find us healthy, able to continue with this life. Yes. Uh, Catherine, are you still there? Sorry for interruption. No, Something okay. Okay, I had lost you. Okay, okay. Um, uh, you're still there anyway. Um there are a few questions that are coming in. Uh, guys, uh, you can uh, continue uh, placing your questions on the chat box and then we'll be able to answer them. The specialists will be able to answer them. Uh, there also will be a poll. Um, actually, the poll has just been launched as uh, she is uh, uh, 
doing something small and then uh, we can proceed. Um, so you can answer the questions as simple. Uh, we have like a minute to answer all of them. So yes and no. Oh, uh, let me have the questions on the screen. Okay, I'll, I'll put the questions on your screen. This is uh, just um, the polls. Uh, are you, if you're done with your conversation, let's uh, then uh, start uh, the questions, uh, question and answer session where we can talk okay. about, um, yeah. Yeah, I was about to complicate the situation further. There is loss of jobs, which has uh, made so many people helpless, hopeless. But uh, with all this hopelessness, we don't have to sink deeper. We dust ourselves, what is it that we can do different? There are so many times we, we worry so much. What will people think? What will people say? You know, when I do this or that, this is not the time to think about what people think, what people say. It is about my life. It is about COVID. at one time, COVID will be still, will still be hiding, but we still need ourselves to carry on this life. Talk to people, seek help. There is no shame in seeking help if you have to. There is no shame in grading. Moving to a smaller house, well and good, because you can no longer aff afford this, the house you are in. There is no shame in that. In fact, you are brave enough. It shows how brave you are to face the reality, how brave you are to manage your life, that you are aware yourself that your life is not about others. Your life is about you. If it is your, your children, if it is children's schools, well and good, it's just but for a while. They would, they would rather be in a school that you can afford, rather be out of a school because you cannot afford school fees. And children really, really suffer from low self-esteem the moment they start being sent away for school fees and others are in school. If it's taking a lower job that is much, much lower paying that the one, than the one you had, go ahead and do it. In other words, words what I am trying to say, Life is just so personal. Let us not live for other people. Let us live for ourselves and what is good for us. If you feel you, are, you and your partner do not have peace, do not wait until it is too late. Seek help. Talk to somebody. Don't wait. You would rather live in peace than rest in peace. You know, do, do not hide. Sometimes we suffer so much. Okay. Sometimes we suffer so much because we worry so much. What will people say? What will people think? But at the end of the day, even if you die, people will still talk. So they would rather stop when you're still living and going on with your life. Harrison, if you can hear me. Yes, Hello. I can hear you. OK, you wanted to say something about the question or, and answer, or do I go on? No, just proceed, just proceed. Okay, okay. We are talking of the complications that have come with COVID. So many people are suffering silently because you don't want you don't want to change. You know, hold your head high, walk with your next freedom. It is my life. I have to live it the best way it is suits me. If there are conflict at home, sit together, talk about it. If children do not understand what is going on, sit them down, let them understand, give them hope. In fact, right now, what is mo most important is to lean on each other, give each other hope. It shall be well. No situation is permanent. COVID is not unique. It is not permanent. If it, it is that high time families, we come to the table, let us listen together what is best for us. And this is not the time to, to put demand on other people. That is why people are committing suicide because income has gone, demands are still there. The one you are living with is not understanding. They're expecting to live the same way they were living before COVID. It is not possible to understand each other. It is on leaning each other that you are going to win the battle. If you are sick, seek help. Go to a doctor. COVID is not the end. COVID is not a death sentence. If some 
them. Don't go visiting a person who is sick and telling them so and so died. If a person was so and so died, tell them of those who have recovered so that they have that hope that you will also conquer. So the cycle social support is very, very key right now. If someone's come to you, they are in distress, listen to them. Sometimes it's not even help we want. We all want a person to listen to us to address our situation. And we normally see a problem share this up. It is not the time to be selfish. Today it is me, tomorrow it is you. And that way we are going to take care of our mental health. So much psychologically suffering, you are dressed up, smile inside of them, you do not know what they are going through. They are just waiting for a trigger to go up. And I think that is why there are so many cases more than before of murders. They have increased, why? Right? Because people are so tense. There's a lot of anxiety with a lot of uncertainty and uncertainty causes anxiety when you're anxious you don't fashion well you are not sure of tomorrow you are not sure of the news you will wake up to tomorrow so what a person comes with just a small trigger something that you could have been able to handle before this one it blows you up you know you're looking at your family they are looking up to you and you're feeling like because it is distorted okay okay i'll work on my voice Talk of irrational thoughts. So the moment you are irrational, your perception is different from reality. You are looking at your family and you're like, can I provide for this family? It's like it is the end of life. Supposing I finish all of them and I finish myself, that to be done. No, that is not the way to go. The way to go is to look at the grasses half full, on the other hand, half empty. We have cooked so far, coffee so far. So even whatever piece of remaining, still. Together we shall make it. This is the time to hold each other's hand. This is not the time to look down on each other. No, you know, hold your head high. No matter what somebody tells you, you have grown your status. Yes, well and good because it is my life and this is what I can afford. You and we normally say, if you know yourself, it is not about what they call you. It's about what you call yourself. You don't answer to any name that you are called. And that is where you are able to move on without any shame, without any permission to offer to everybody. No one is perfect. I am not perfect. No one is perfect. And there is no perfect life. We work with what we have. We love what we have because it is what we have. Harrison? Hello? Yes, I uh, can hear you. Mm -hmm. Are you done? We can go with the question as we go on. We can do together. Okay, so anybody who has a question, kindly make use of the chat. I think I'll go to a comment. Uh, Wanjiru, do you want to run with that? Maybe you can just go through the comments. There is something from uh, Festas. You can just uh, run with that, Wanjiru. Okay, uh, let me read what's first as I say. I just a minute. Sometimes the events turn out very quickly and abruptly, and again, some may look back and imagine the huge sacrifices and investment they have built done in a relationship, which eventually leads to them uh, to have a second thought of holding on to the relationship a little bit longer, and then boom, the worst happened. What's your advice on this? Sorry, Wajiro, if I may hear your question again. Okay, let me read it again. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. sometimes the event turn out very quickly and abruptly. And again, some may look back and imagine the huge sacrifices and investments they have built done in a relationship, which eventually mm -hmm. leads to them to have a second thought of holding onto the relationship a little bit longer. And then, boom, the worst happens. What's your advice on this? The relationship. So because you have invested, you, you really want to imagine it will work for the better. Because like you say, you don't want to lose your investment. 
but it is not more of investment because you can always invest again. It is your life that matters here. You know, if you had invested, even if the relation is over, even if you feel the pain, you know that you've been betrayed. You, you never enter to, into this relationship. It has come to an end. You, know, you are telling yourself, is, this person could not see my worth. I am still the same person they found me. Whatever I had invested in them, you know, for you to invest in a relationship, there is something that you saw in that relationship. Maybe by the time you are investing, you are enjoying that relationship. It made you happy. It gave you comfort. It gave you peace. Maybe you can run with that and comfort yourself. You say, after all, at that particular time, as in that relationship, things were well. This is not my decision. I would rather edit now that prolong a right that is not giving me peace, that is not giving me any comfort, that is not adding any value to my life. Do not wait until that time you do some damage because it, you will not go back you know, to correct your mistake. You would rather walk out when your slate is clean. You know, we normally say, do not sell your soul for a plate of food. You can lose your life as well it is just not what you know if it is not working it is not working dust yourself feel the pain and move on in any case pain should leave us better but not bitter at least you have learned something the next time you try it you'll be more wiser wajiro back to you okay um let me read the next quote. What of a toxic uh, working environment in remote parts of Kenya? Quitting would be an mm -hmm. option uh, in ordinary days, but amid this COVID, we need income. How do we cope in such, e.g. in Trukana or Garissa? Okay, they, they are talking of work in a toxic environment. Yes. Working in a toxic environment. You know? Yes, yes, that's what they're talking about. Working in a toxic environment, but quitting is not a, an option because they need the money. For sure, yeah, we agree it is toxic. You cannot quit, you need the money. It is about weighing, okay? Fine, the environment is toxic but it is not permanent. If I lose my income, which is better? You know, it's like between a, a rock and a hard stone. Yes, the environment is toxic. And again, I still need this job. So how about I familiar the toxic environment as I plan my exit? It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but or in, I know that there is hope and I tell myself this situation is not permanent. Because thing now is not an option to you. And we normally say our power is in the rest. What is it that you can do in this environment to make it better? What is it in your power? You know, quitting, you have said is not an option. Where is your power? It's power in how you see. What is it that you can see differently, you know, to make your environment better? the power rise within you, you know, and it is good that now you are saying you cannot quit. So what is it that is in that toxic environment that you can respond to, you know, as you plan your end? And if you maybe, possibly maybe you, you want to discuss it further, contact Sasa doctor, they will give you somebody that will be able to work with you. Back to you, Ajiro. Wanted to add on something. Hello? Yo. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Thanks. Hello. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to add on uh, on um, uh, toxic environments. Uh, one has <laughs> to weigh the options that they have. Um, <laughs> It, it's, it's really important when you're weighing the options, don't do it alone. Just talk to someone yeah. because that's the only way you'll be able to have a rational decision. 
because you sure. you'll be able to look at the positive the negatives uh what what is at stake what is at stake at that given point because you're not doing this out of um you should not do anything out of anger you should not do anything okay. out of uh, 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 um, uh, or, or without thinking through about it. So it's uh, really important to have somebody to walk through with you. And that is why we're yes. saying, um, uh, Catherine told you, you can easily, now, when healthcare is accessible, we, we usually say there is no health without mental health. When healthcare is as accessible, yes. you're able to access a doctor or a, 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 a counselor or whichever uh, uh, person online it's very easy to be able to talk this out and so that you are able to understand what exactly do i need to do so that you don't just rush into a decision that you are going to regret later it's really important for us to ensure that we know what we are doing but that cannot happen if at all, we don't talk to other people. That is, if you look at the society, um, most people who uh, end up with the bigger problems are as men. Why? Because we don't talk about it. But when the moment you talk about it, yeah, uh, there is this saying, mm -hmm. uh, a problem shared is a, a problem half solved. So you need to talk to someone For sure. to be able to establish what do I do in case this person doesn't have a solution for you? Talk to the next person. By the time the next person is talking, maybe they will give you their own share of problems, but you'll be able to pick one thing or two that will help you manage your condition at that point. The reason why we have these uh -huh. murders is somebody has thought about it. They kept it to themselves uh, for a very long time. Now, at that time that they are busting that bubble, the, the moment they are expressing their anger, they express it in a very bad way, in a, in a way that mm -hmm. no society can accept. And that is why we are seeing this upsurge, because you're living in the same household with them. Um, somebody that you are actually and, and and with the lockdown so if you're working from home and uh, you're in the same space with somebody who sometimes you think is your enemy how are you going to manage that you need to be able to look at this person differently if you start the, having a conversation today tomorrow the day after tomorrow that anger will go down if it doesn't then there is a need for you to seek uh, attention and unfortunately our society that the way it's uh, been uh, um, put out there it's we tend to not to go look for help but we need to seek help so that we are uh, at a better position of um, uh, even managing our conditions so that's the only way uh, that, that's the, my contribution on that topic yeah you can continue Wanjiro Okay, yeah, thank and you. You're saying, sorry. Go ahead. You're saying there is no shame asking for help. You know, and you're, you're, you're like you're saying the, the worst of us. But now, when you talk to people, you even realize you are much, much better. There are worse people uh, than you. It gives you now that courage. Okay, could be it is not me. Everyone is suffering. It's only that they are trying to cope with their situation. And then we say, like you mentioned something, men do not ask for help. But when you are in need, it is not about your ego. It is the high time to put your ego aside. Okay, you, you would rather ask for help than die with your ego. It will not take you anywhere. Okay, back to you, Ajiro. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, would you address why uh, men more affected nowadays? Like if there's a quarrel, a quarrel erupts, it's more likely for the man to succumb. Ajira, I've lost you. Okay, uh, would you address why men are more affected nowadays? Like if there's a quarrel, uh, the man is more likely to succumb. You are saying like uh, more and more affected when there is yeah, a quarrel? Yes. 
when they are quarrel, they react. They, they, I they are mostly- I can rephrase uh, this question, um, if you allow me. Would you address why men are more affected nowadays? Uh, like if a quarrel uh, erupts, it's more likely for the man to succumb. What uh, this person is asking is that, why do men uh, end up uh, having the worst reactions? And I think I, I, I talk a, a bit about it. Yeah. Proceed, uh, Catherine. You know, like you say, they do not talk out their issue. You know, you are like ume familia leo, ume familia kesho. You are not talking to anybody. You know, you are feeling like you be lesser of a man if you went and said you have a problem. So by the time you are reacting, there is so much inside your head. There is a quarrel. It may not be that just that one quarrel. You know, you are so overloaded with tension that you are just waiting for a trigger so that this time a quarrel comes up because of the so much that is inside of your head you just erupt so we go back to if you feel there is a situation that is overwhelming you kindly ask for help there are so many people who are ready to help people who will not judge you people who will not see you as a lesser person actually in asking for help there is courage in asking for help because it shows you you know you are courageous enough to face your situation, to deal with your situation. You are not hiding from reality. So kindly men ask for help. And I keep on repeating, there is no shame in asking for help. You are human beings, you have emotions, emotions that need to be addressed and addressed in a healthy manner, okay? Okay, thank you. I wanted to yeah. add on uh, that. Just to just add before. on it. Uh, Sorry, just wanted to add on that. Um, for men, kindly, let's uh -huh, go ahead. The stereotypical uh -huh. type of approach that we have that African men cannot seek uh, for help. We all know that uh, it's uh, not possible to just stay, no man is an island, yeah? That's why even uh, in yes. old ages, there was an element of therapy. And the therapy that was ongoing mm -hmm. is uh, majorly the men would sit around and take their beer, uh, the local brew that is, and talk to others. And the age mates, the grouping, the type of uh, uh, societies that we had back then, all this was a way to ensure that people do not succumb. People would be asked or how their families are. So for men, kindly mm -hmm. sit with your fellow, uh, or your friends and have Zoom calls. And uh, uh, in as much as there's a lockdown, you can easily have a Zoom call or FaceTime with your friends and, uh, and, and laugh as much as you want. This will help you uh, not to keep uh, a lot of um, as long, uh, 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 you uh, can uh, still meet with your people as long as you maintain your social distance, as long as you follow all the guidelines, you don't have to lock yourself up in houses, avoid crowds. But if there is a thread up there, just meet, observe all the guidelines of the Ministry of Health, ensure you, you know. Because also this locking up is affecting people. Human beings are social beings. We are made to interact with each other. We are in, in need to update each other. You know, just have chat, that laughter together. It goes a long, long way. Let us maintain it. Pick a phone, call somebody. If you have not talked for a long time, do not just assume they are well. Talk to them, find out how they are you know, they are doing. If you are working from the house, working from the same environment 24 seven, look for ways that you can check, you know, go out, take a walk, do something that you at least make you, they make you feel there is a different. <clears throat> Sorry, there are those who have children and they are working at home. If there are children who can listen to, make them understand, mama, dad, 
we have to work, we have to put bread on the table. You can even have a reward system. If today you do not disturb me since I'm working from home, there is a reward for you. There's something for you. You know, let us try to keep sin as a way to overcome this COVID because definitely we are going to overcome this COVID. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm um, not seeing any other. And if I may add um, something, hello, let me add something. Because there are times we feel we are, we are so low, we try to look, you know, there is no right at the end of the tunnel. I want to say, no matter how dark the situation is, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. No situation is permanent. The power lies within us, you know, Look inside of you. What is it that I can do differently? Do not allow something that you can do. Look for, you can even do it differently. You might even come to discover there is a talent, there is a skill that you have never used. But don't allow yourself to feel hopeless because with hopelessness, there is no much you can do. And sometimes you are not even hopeless. It is our mind that is telling us that we are hopeless. It is mm -hmm. our perception that is telling us that we are hopeless. So in all times, let us allow ourselves, let us at least try to stay positive. Like I said, look at the glass as half, half full, as half empty. Look at things that they will improve. It shall be well. Instead of, oh, and it, our tomorrow is better than today. And where we are going is much more beautiful than where we have come from in all situations. And no matter how you are hurt, just to know it shall be well. It upon and emotionally, you shall be well. Don't allow yourself to be devalued by the society. Put such a high value on yourself that no one can devalue you. You know, like for men, let me give an example. A man, you know, a man was told by a friend, you know, you are behaving like your mama and everyone else around him expect him to, to react. Yeah, But in response was like, oh, my mama, I love my mama. You know, that wonderful woman, that strong woman. Himself, it was not possible to devalue him. So let us always give ourselves time before we react. Let us pause before we respond because we are able to, to reflect on the consequences of our actions. And the more, the more you reflect, the more you sober up, the more you are able to act rationally. Back to you, Ajiro. Okay, Hello? thank you. I see time is not on side. Um, so more questions from the audience. So there are no more questions. So we'd like to wind up. So in case you have, you feel like you need to talk to Catherine, she's on our application. You can just download the doctor application, register, and you'll be able to see her. You can use any mode of payment, insurance, credit card, mobile money, you can use that. I've learned a lot from my end. And of course, in a relationship, people need to increase their self-worth. Don't rely on whatever the other person says. Know that you are still an, a person before even you join the relationship. And if you know your self-worth, you know what uh, you stand for, you, you won't be able to succumb in case somebody leaves you. Uh, the other thing is anger management. People don't know how to manage their anger. So in case you're angry, step back, think about what you're about to do before you do it and see, look at the repercussion after you do whatever you want to do. So the other thing is people forget that there are so many other aspects in your life besides just the relationship you have with the person. There are so many other aspects in your life. That is just only one thing in your life. And it's only one thing that is going wrong. The rest are still going okay. So look at the other things that you have in your life and focus on the childhood baggage. You find like some of us have carried issues since we are young. 
Yeah, um, my father used to beat my mother. I used to, maybe you are raised in a very toxic environment and you pick so many things from that, that environment. It's time to let go of such toxic. And for sure, for sure, everyone knows when you have to toxic behaviors, you can say you don't know. There are things you do to other people, but you wouldn't like the same to happen to you. So if you know whatever you do to other people, you wouldn't like it to happen to you, kindly drop the behavior. The other thing is the revenge. There are people who take revenge to heart. If anything happens, if even somebody brushes their shoulder when they are walking, they are sure they're going to curse, even on the street. So that is somebody who holds on to, to revenge. Like if anything triggers him, he's likely to revenge on the person who did it. So the feeling of hopelessness and um, helplessness, we need to find ways to anchor ourselves. We need to build ourselves a social structure. Beside the relationships we have with our family, with our partners, we need a social structure that is strong, be it in church, be it your friends, be it whatever, so that in case anything happens, even in a relationship, you have a structure where you can run to, discuss the issue and then from because most of the time human beings we tend to be biased when i come to you and my relationship we have issues of course i'll speak from my end and i'll make i'll paint myself as the best person so have somebody who can come in between who is not trying to fall for any for any part so that they are able to make the decision they tell you by the way here you're the one who is not right here you're the one who is not right i think with just an apology you can just go on the other thing is change. I know there are a lot of a lot has happened with COVID. Uh, there's no money. People have lost their job, but people still want to hold to their social. Maybe to Kasarani or somewhere else. It's time to move. It's not uh, as Kathleen said. It's not about people. It's about your sanity. It's about. Uh, where you're comfortable at because of course when you continue straining and as i said uh, triggers are so many there are so many things that can trigger you financial socially psychologically mentally health wise also even if you're sick there's so many things that can trigger you so if you're not able to live as your standards like before it's time to shift to shift to a two bedroom, you have to shift to a single room. It's all about your sanity and where you're comfortable at. The other thing is demand. In a relationship, you find many people are demanding a lot, especially for, let me just say, <laughs> I'll be the enemy of the people, especially for ladies. Try to understand your men. They, some of them, their salaries have been slashed into half, and you still want to go to salon for 3000 Right now, you can only afford 500 but you don't want to accommodate him. We don't want to spend earlier. So try to understand your partner. Try to also to, to in case you maybe you are a housewife, try to also come in. Tafuta ki to find your side, and any for my issue. Because you find, bona me futo wakazi, ama salary me slashiwa, ye ye tunde anangangana. Awa pecha kula, the salon, their kids, their in-laws, there's his family. That man is, at the end of the day, that man is really, really worked up. So as the woman, try to understand your man. Kama unaona machine. food my question right now i always say right now it's not like in the earlier days like we used to do in the african society the man used to go graze there's uh food in the farm right now kila mtu ana hustle so manome akit after rent atawet after food mu support mu support yana so that not one person is being drained everyone is asking everyone needs a piece of him they, of course they might end up breaking the other thing is entitlement in relationship. You find like the missus, the atonamstiana. No, that's not the way to speak. A relationship is only works when the two parties are in agreement. There's no way you force me to be in a relationship with you just because you don't want me to leave you. Of course, and this this brings in the the issue of self-worth, you need peace. You need a relationship that is comfortable. You need a relationship that is love. But if you force me to a relationship just because you are threatening me, you're going to kill me if I leave you. Of course, that's not a relationship. The whole aim of a relationship is to become a companion. But when you force me to be in a relationship, I'm just here just because I fear the consequences of leaving you. So it's high time you men, the ego and all that, like a lady can't leave, anybody can leave you, even your mother can leave you, anything can happen. 
then when you are, you know yourself what well, even if somebody leaves you be like oh and i always i always say when you're left by somebody it's always a chance for you to find somebody better for yourself the other thing that i say always death for those who are taking their lives and also taking their children's lives and their wife's life i feel like death is just a shortcut uh, you always take a shortcut when you are when you are coward. You you don't want to face the consequence. You don't want to face life. So you take a shortcut and decide, ah, I'm going to kill everybody and kill myself in it. Don't take a shortcut in life. That being selfish. Remember, there is your family. There is your mother. There is your father. There are so many people around you. So when you decide to do that, mind about the rest. Mind about those people you're taking their lives without even asking them whether they want or they don't want. So. Let's be considerate. Let before you act, before you do, I always tell people, before you do something, ask yourself, if the same thing was done to me, will I be okay? Will I be fine? Will I be happy? So if the something doesn't make you happy, don't do it to somebody else. So that's all. I just wanted to highlight that as we finish our talk. I see there are no more comments from the comment section. I'll just go ahead and invite Harrison to end the webinar yeah so thank you very much uh, and uh, enjoy your afternoon we're going to be playing some videos as you leave the webinar so i hope you have one or Harrison? two things Alison can you hear me Alison if you can hear me yes Alison Yes, I can hear Harrison, you. Before you end. Hello. Yes. May I add something before you end? Yes. Hello? Yes, please proceed. Please end. Please oh. add something. Yes. I wanted to say we may not be able to address, maybe, you know, it whole, but maybe people can connect and it is so easy. Uh, with the SASA doctor, the, the, the virtual counseling. If you want, you don't want to be seen, you know, some people fear. I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be known that I'm, I'm, I'm seeking therapy. So there is this online platform. If you choose audio, well and good, go ahead, seek for help. Don't suffer silently. That is all that I can say that I encourage to always, 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 there is help at hand don't suffer alone there are so many people that are suffering out there more than you are suffering so ask for help and it shall be better you shall it is in looking for help that the situation will change because we normally say you cannot do the same thing all the time and expect different results this time do it differently look for help seek for help talk to somebody we are ready to help because no one is and no situation is permanent. Back to you, Harrison. Okay, my is to thank you. And uh, we are going to play some uh, videos and uh, voice so you can live at your own pleasure. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 